welcome back in the previous part we have seen that how we can use lightning module and how we can create an our own class which is inherited from the lightning module how we can define model architecture how we can define parameter loss function evaluation matrix and the some list to store curve accuracy and loss values how we can define augmentation how we can split and load data here we will define forward function which is nothing but the input x is passing through the model so our model is self dot resnet 18 so what i will do is just x dot x equal to self dot resnet 18 and pass our input x to the resnet 18 model next thing i have to define is an optimizer which is actually we are using adam w optimizer in this case So torch dot optim dot Adam W. You can define whatever optimizer you want. You can define SGD. You can define Adam. You can define anyone you want. Params equal to self dot parameters. Then I have to define learning rate, which is actually self dot learning rate. And the next thing I have to define train data loader which is exactly the same as we have defined in the part 1 and the part 1 we have defined the data loader and we will just call that data loader and uh, but we will do some modification to this data loader because we are now doing some serious work ds equal to data loader or call it dl for data loader so next now i have to pass self draw train set shuffle equal to true batch size equal to self dot batch size number of worker equal to self dot number of worker so this is the data loader for the train training now we have to define data loader for the validation but the only thing we need to change is the well set instead of train set and here is our training data loader so here is our validation data loader the next thing i have to define is our training step so let me explain how things work before writing the code for the training step the data loader loads the data from the image folder the image folder has the path of images and the labels the data loader read the paths and convert it into tensors via the augmentation method and then it passes the batch which is actually the batch size according to the batch size and pass it to the validation step or the training step the batch is passed to the training step from the training step the batch passed to the model which is the forward function so let me define it how it passed to the model the first index actually the batch size is a tuple we have seen that there, there is zero and the first index the first zeroth index is the image and first is the label so if we do image comma label we can define as this so the image batch zero is the image and batch one is the label so now i have to pass these images to the cell function i can define self dot res that 18 or the other way is that I can define the battery is that I can define self. Let me repeat this again. I can define self dot forward or I can also define self. I can't define self dot resnet 18. That's just a mistake. I can define self dot forward or self dot or self alone. So I will pass images here. I will pass this prediction predicted values to the loss loss is self dot criterion and i will pass it to the predict dot flatten i have shown you above that why are we flattening this and then i will pass label dot float and i have also shown you that why i am doing float converting labels to float so this is the loss function that is calculated next i have to calculate the accuracy self dot a double c Similarly, predict dot flatten same same as above, which we have seen in 
I believe part two. Next thing I have to do is to return these values. So I will call return and we will return these values in a dictionary loss, loss accuracy and the accuracy. The same thing we will do with the validation step. Now we have to write our tr training epoch and validation epoch and so once a batch is completed this training step repeated again and again until an epoch is completed. Once an epoch is completed now we have to aggregate all the losses and accuracy of all the batches. One epoch has many batches and now we have to aggregate the loss and the accuracy of all these batches in one epoch. So I will do loss equal to x loss for x in output actually this loss function this loss value this loss dictionary and this accuracy dictionary go to this output so i am calling it in a list comprehension way and getting this loss value for all the batches now i have to stack them and then i have to take the average of all of them dot dot stack and then i will take average which i can do by taking mean and then I have to convert them to NumPy because currently they are in tensor. For first, I have to detach them from GPU. Then I have to move them to CPU. And then I have to convert them to NumPy. Okay, this is all done. So I will do the same for the accuracy. Dot to stack A double C. Now what I will do is I will store this loss and this accuracy in the list we have created here. Self dot train accuracy and self dot train loss. Self dot train accuracy dot append self dot train loss dot append loss. So let me explain it again. The images from the folder which are defined here are taken by this image folder function and the augmentation is applied which convert them to tensors and the images are combined by this data loader into batches and the batch is then transferred to training step which train the batches and when an epoch is completed the output of this loss and accuracy pass to this training epoch and function where we will aggregate them and store them in our list which we have created here. It shouldn't be zero here. The same thing we will do with the validation step. In validation step we will also like to print our validation loss and accuracy for an epoch validation loss and accuracy self dot current epoch which will show that what is the current epoch at that time loss comma accuracy we can do this for our training also here so this is the completion of the lightning module class Maybe if I run this, it will give an error, but I will run in front of you so that you can see that how we can resolve that if we got an error. It says that self is not defined. So let me see that. Okay. One thing I have to make sure is that we are not using the previous variables we have defined above. So I'm going to restart the kernel. So, and just start a new run of the kernel. So let me import the libraries. I am not running any of this cell until here and see it again gives self is not defined. 
the error is that this parameter should be below this super and there is an identification error so i am going to move it a uh, tab ahead and see that if this error is resolved yes this error is resolved so the next thing i have to do is to call the trainer to train the model but before that i have to call this class model equal to our class and let me see if it gives an error it will say that it should be our model okay it should be our model or our class i have just used two different names so it should be our model and here should be our model so now there is no error so let me run it again and first we have to seed everything because what we want is that whenever we run this code the same result is produced next let's define me the trainer the trainer is very important thing produced by pytorch lightning so the first we have to define maximum epochs which i will define as 15 then i have to define the deterministic behavior the deterministic behavior show that whether we want our more our result to be deterministic or not if we define deterministic and see it everything then each time we run this code we got same exact same result next thing we have to define gpus which is one in my case then i have to define precision which is 16 actually we define can define precision as 32 or as 16 if we define as 16 then our model training speed will increase a lot and if we define 32 then our model speed will be reduced so you can search and google that what is mixed precision to know that why we have defined 16 here the next thing we have defined is number of sanity well steps okay this should not be completed number of sanity well step it shows that before starting training it will run validation step and check that if there is any error in the code or the, the co code is flawless the next thing i will do is limit train batches let me call it 20 and limit well batches and let me call it 5 instead of running the whole code and see that if there is any error or not and it will take a lot of time we can define our data we can limit our data and see if there is error or not if there is no error then we will remove this limitation and we will run our model for the maximum 15 epochs or we can define at 100 or whatever we want but for the right time being i am defining at one defining it as one because i want to check that whether there is any error in my code or not so now i will define trainer dot fit and i will see model and now i will start running this it will take some time and first it will see let's see that there is any error there is no error in our code so let me make it 15 and remove this we can also remove number of 70 well step and so we can do this by changing it to zero okay so let me refresh or restart the kernel and run it again and we are now waiting until this procedure is complete it will take less time because we are using rtx 3070 and we are using a small model which is resnet uh, i believe 18 and our data is not so huge that it will take a lot of time during once the training is complete we can validate our data model as trainer dot validate and we will define model here once the validation is complete we have to then plot the loss and accuracy curve plt dot plot model dot train accuracy label equal to training accuracy let me validate my model okay it gives an error no validation step method defined to run trainer dot validate 
it mean that well step it will mean that there is some error actually it's not well step it's validation step but it should be validation not the well so let me correct it and then let me run it again and here is the validation meanwhile i am writing the code for the plot purpose plt dot plot model dot well accuracy comma label equal to validation accuracy okay name dot current epoch is not defined because we have to change it with com full stop instead of comma and run it again validation accuracy plt dot legend plt dot title validation and training accuracy plt dot i am sure the same thing we will do with the loss curves chain loss validation loss and here we will replace accuracy with the loss validation and training loss comparison or whatever you want to name the title so let me train dot validate our accuracy is currently 0 0.68 and let me plot that we here we get an error that uh, the label spelling are incorrect label okay what why we are not getting the validation accuracy okay this is because i have defined train accuracy instead of well accuracy here it should be well and it should be well loss let me see if there is any other error here okay shuffle true here shuffle should be false in validation or in test also shuffle should always be false and see if there is any other error look like there is not so let me restart the kernel and run this again so let me import the libraries the libraries has been imported and next i have to uh, run this cell of class and model and these are the just few lines which uh, you can run you can improve the performance by doing better augmentation by increasing the augmentation and by in doing, doing using different models such as resnet 50 or by reducing the learning rate or by doing some changes in the code but this is the section 1 in which we are using we are just we are just learning that how we can use pytorch lightning and pytorch in the upcoming section we will see that how we can achieve the state of the art accuracy and how we can stand in a good position at a competition and how we can do submissions in different competitions and what is the position at load leaderboard as i and what is the position at leaderboard i achieved and how i achieved that position we will see all these in the upcoming tutorials thank you